Hi guys, how y'all doing out there? Today is April 15, 2015, and it's been 103 years since the Titanic sank. And the reason why I'm making this video is obviously because of the anniversary, but also to say to, to uh, send people to my uh, Titanic page that I have on the internet that I've had since. Well, I created it in late 1997, so the the movie helped inspire the me to create the website but I was always a th Titanic enthusiast since I was a kid uh, so in 1997 I was 15 so I created it when I was 15 and I still maintain it and I have thousands and thousands of visitors every day so I'll put the link up here going across going across put it in the description below if you want to check out my website I, it's just simply called Aaron's Titanic page it's probably one of the, the best Titanic pages on the internet and I'm not bragging about it it's just the fact that it's well known it's been around, you know, for 15, 16 years or whatever. 18 years it's been around. Uh, everybody knows about it. In fact, I have a pen pal in Australia that I've been talking to since 1998, not long after I made my Titanic page. And she's really nice, she's great, she's almost like family to me. And we've been corresponding since 1998 because we came together because of my Titanic page and the passion that we both had for the Titanic and wanting to know more and more because back then there wasn't hardly any information online So my site throughout all the ones that came out because of the movie and whatnot and some dedicated to the real ones Even the official web pages my site is way better I put a lot a lot of work into it and it needs a bit of an overhaul I guess a little bit there I might have to go through it whenever I have some time But you can check it out it's called Aaron's Titanic page uh, So yeah I'll put the, the link in the description below I'll Put it on the top above my head here bad haircut and whatnot. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, feel free to check it out and please remember today to remember all the people all the 1506 or 7 people who died on the night of April 14th slash into the early morning of April 15th, 1912 and remember the survivors and just remember everybody's memory, anybody who was affected by the loss of the Titanic people who lost their life innocently on board the Titanic just think of them today say prayer for for them in your head today just so you remember them I've myself seen the Titanic graveyard in Halifax I've taken pictures there I've been there I believe twice my wife and I have been there uh, it's a really sad place to be but it's also a very amazing place to be uh, it's, it's a very very nice tribute that they did it's, it's just crazy that a ship built in Ireland you know sailed from Liverpool England you know Southampton England and Cherbourg France and Cobb Queenstown Ireland you know and and, and the survivor and the, the people who passed away who were picked up you know by the McKay Bennett and the several other ships that were uh, dispatched to pick up bodies and whatnot and they're buried in Halifax Nova Scotia Canada and Halifax Nova Scotia Canada is, is you know the, the Titanic burial site for the, the victims, the people that the bodies that were recovered. Most of them were buried there, and a lot of them were just simply with a number. There's no name. They have no way of identifying them because a lot of them were what they would call steerage passengers. I think that's a, such a derogatory term. Every person is a person. I don't think you should be calling them by steerage or first class, second class. A human being is a human being. It's a life. Uh, so a lot of people in third class. If you look at who survived in the ranks in the first, second, and third class, and you know most people died who were in third class because who knows did they keep the third class people that locked below and only let them up at the end? It's hard to say. It's a Titanic myth. Some say it happened. Some say it didn't. I, you have to. It depends on whose account you read about. You know, just like you know, there's so, so many things in history that we know that are documented that happened. But yet, in certain movies, they do it the opposite way or whatnot. In documentaries, they say the opposite. And did the ship break in two? Some say it break it broke in two. Some say it didn't. Well, come on, the ship is you know is 882 feet long. Did it break in two as it went under, or did it not break in two as it went under? I think that, you know the fact of it being in the water this high, and you have the water here, and it's under here. 
so all that is the water and the pressure I think it's gonna cause that to just break break off and then suddenly come up like it does in James Cameron's Titanic I believe that it broke apart at the surface I believe that 100% why would the bow and the stern lie, lie um, a mile apart at the, at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean you know if it didn't break apart at the surface it broke apart right below the surface so so there's so many dis there's so many theories and whatnot, documentaries, you know, Titanic eventually is just in the, you know, from the, the, the bow of the ship to the anchor is like 60 feet. So if you look at the Titanic on the ocean floor, the anchor is right here, and then the bottom of the ground of the, the ocean floor is right here. So when the Titanic's, when the bow, boom, plowed into the, into the ground, it buried itself about 50 feet into the mud but someday Titanic itself is just going to become it's going to collapse into itself and it won't be recognizable anymore and if people you know it's good that there's a company out there RMS Titanic Incorporated to keep you know the rights to the to the ship and you know prevent looting and salvaging and whatnot and people going out there and doing expeditions you know if it's not authorized and whatnot I think it's good that somebody has control over the ship and the wreck and you know the artifacts that have been discovered. I've uh, I've went to the Titanic Museum again in Halifax. There was a museum there. I've seen deck chairs, I've seen this, you know, uh, brushes, uh, mirrors, whatnot, you name it, tooth brushes, earrings, just all kinds of stuff. Stuff that says White Star Line on it. I've seen a whole bunch of stuff. And I actually own a piece of Titanic's coal. There, there was um, uh, a gentleman in 1998 who can't remember his name offhand, but we were again we were talking and we were friends and whatnot. And 1998, I was 16. He sent me an actual piece of Titanic coal with a certificate of authenticity, sealed in a bag, and it was recovered from a 1992 expedition to the Titanic. It was retrieved from the ocean floor, and it's a small chunk of coal. So I have that. I'd show it to you right now, but I actually have it away uh, in storage with the rest of my collectible stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really uh, neat to, to know that I owned a part of, of Titanic. It might not have been an actual piece of Titanic, but it was part of the coal that fueled Titanic. And we all know that several ships had to dock and their coal had to be removed from their ships to be put on board the Titanic so the Titanic could make its maiden voyage to, to, to New York City because it wasn't going to have enough coal. There was a coal strike. So I have a piece of that coal. So that's really interesting. So. There's so many different accounts about Titanic and what happened, but like I said, 1,500 some people that lost their lives, and it's, it was a tragedy beyond a tragedy, and you know, tragedies, similar tragedies continue to happen. You know, ships are sinking, you know, the Concordia, different, you know, and the Andrea Doria, I think in 1960 or 1956, something like that. You know, Stuff like that still keeps happening to this day, but it's not with an iceberg or whatnot. But uh, so yeah, feel free to check out my Titanic website if you want. It needs a little bit of an overhaul. I'll admit that because it's been a while since I've really, really updated it. But uh, today has been 103 years since the Titanic sank. So 103 years. The last survivor died in 2009, I believe it was uh, Melvina Dean. And uh, she was just a baby on board the Titanic. She was about four or five months old, but she's still a Titanic survivor. And so when she passed, she was the last one. We have so many good Ruth Becker, Edith he uh, Heisman, Eva Hart, all these people who have left amazing, amazing, amazing tes testimonials over the years that have been recorded. Uh, some of them have just memories over the years, you know, that were just well documented. I would have loved to have been somebody to sit down. An interview one of you know Edith Heisman will say uh, somebody who was like you know 12 13 14 when the ship sank I would have loved to have had an interview to be able to sit down and ask them questions about it because I mean they've gave so many interviews over the years all those people so anyhow Aaron's Titanic page check it out if you want and remember all those souls who died on the Titanic and the people who survived tell and live the horror of that night over again forever remember them today thanks for watching